See, our God is the God whose presence and power begins right here and extends to the furthest and farthest reaches of the universe. There's nothing we could ask of this God that He's not capable of doing, and there's no corner of the universe where His sovereign power doesn't apply. So not only do we have a God who is our Father, who we can speak intimately with, we also have a a God whose knowledge and wisdom and power and might is infinite. The phrase, our Father, gives our prayers depth. Our Father in heaven gives our prayers height. Listen again to Frederick Dale Bruner. The expression, in the heavens, lifts and stretches the idea of Father. Not only is God, or God is not only intimately our Father, He is also immensely the God of the whole cosmos. Lest we become too chummy with our Father... The qualifier in the heavens tells us that this Father is God. We don't walk into our Father's throne room with the irreverence of a spoiled teenager. We approach Him with humility and with reverence and with honor because our Father is the God of heaven and earth. Our prayers need width, they need depth, and they need height. Jesus wants to invite us out of a shallow and constricted and constrained life of prayer into the expansiveness and fullness of a holistic experience of our Father's goodness and grace. 